Welcome to Saving History. I'm S.C. Digger, and this is another Turn Back the Clock episode from the archives of the Saving History video files. And uh, once again, we're going to go back to 2007 for a hunt that I hooked up with a good friend of mine, Bill Dugan, down near Beaufort. And uh, we got ourselves into a whole slew of relics down there in the low country. Now, one of the th reasons why I am going back and uh, reposting and re editing some of these uh, old videos is back in the day uh, when I first started doing YouTube videos, uh, YouTube put a limitation on the, um, the amount of uh, the file size, I, sh I guess you could say, of the videos you could put up and many of these old videos are still sitting there at 240 dpi they look like they were recorded with a potato but when i produce the videos i save them in a, a high quality format as well so what i'm having to do now or what i'm getting to do now is to reload high quality versions of these videos i can also go back and do a little re-edit and and make them a little cleaner so i hope you enjoy this trip down flat button road Here's a quick look at some of the area that we're hunting. Uh, this is just an old original road bed. And Bill, on an earlier trip here, pulled uh, seven or eight flat buttons just out of the middle of the road. And we've dug a couple today, so we'll keep working and see if we can pull some more out. All right, Bill's got him a good target out here. He already got it out of the hole there. Got a nice flat button there. Be sure there's nothing on the front. Nice plain civilian flat button. Good job. Me and Bill have been working this road here for a little while. It's really, really trashy. But if we slow down and really listen to the targets in the middle of all the trash, uh, we've been picking a lot of flat buttons out of this roadbed. Uh, finally, you've picked me one out of here. I'll show it to you here. You can see it down there in the hole. So we'll pull it out there. and Nice little cuff flat button there. Bill's got him another target here as we work this flat button road here like a nice nice dark flat button nice big one there still have the shank on it or uh, shanks missing but that's all right good job well sometimes you got to keep your eyes open because not every artifact you find is going to be uh, as a result of the metal detector and I want to show you what uh, is laying right here and I think what's <laughs> What's kind of funny about it is that uh, there's one of Bill's dig holes right here. But if you will look just right here, see what I'm showing you. Reach down and pick it up. And got us a nice, it's not in great shape, it's broken, but it certainly is a nice uh, Native American artifact. Nice arrowhead. Well, Flat Button Road keeps producing for us here, and Bill just got him another one here and it's really fancy unfortunately it's broken but if you'll look at that you can see the design on it it's got like a raised middle pretty cool button there Bill well as uh, we continued working our way up this road uh, Bill made up for the uh, arrowhead he pretty much sat on just a minute ago and he found a another one down here and I want to Show it to you before we pick it up. Nice little bird point sitting there. Kind of see size of it before we pick it. That's in situ. So we'll cover it there. Great find. Not too much. Well, as we get late in the day here, Bill does his thing and pulls a uh, another flat button out of this. One's actually pewter here. We were kind of hoping to find a number on the front of that, but don't think so, but it's a good looking button. Good job. 